So now we're ready to trim this bowl. And if you remember earlier, I said that the bottom was about a quarter of an inch. That's because I like to have just a nice, smooth curve on my bowl. Going back for a second, if you wanted to have a foot, a raised foot on this bowl, you would need to leave a little bit of extra clay in the throwing stage so that you'd have something to trim into. Either way, the way that you trim it is by taking one of these ribbon tools. And the reason why this is called a ribbon tool is because it makes a ribbon of clay as you trim the pot. Now I like to use the kind that has the squared edge on one side and the round edge on the other. The reason why this particular size and shape is good is that the round edge is a little sharper in terms of just the point is smaller so you can remove a little bit more clay a little bit faster and just get a deeper cut and then once you've got that shape that you're looking for roughed in with that side you can flip it over and use this broader side to give it a smooth curve it's a lot smoother than the other side. Now, if you really want to have this smooth, you can take a larger ribbon tool like this, which has a really broad side, and give it a little bit extra there. And once you've got the shape that you're looking for, you can just take your sponge and smooth it up. And at this point, you can put your mark into the bottom of the clay. You can sign it if you want with a pen or, you know, just a pencil, some blunt edge. Or if you want, you can make a stamp out of clay like I've done. That way you get the same mark every time. Now you just take this and flip it over. And you're going to have to bend the bat a little bit. I do that by pushing it into myself and bending it. And it comes right off, and you can set this off to dry.